We have our heads back from the machine shop. The valves have been seated. Our porting job is all done. We just have one final task, and that's to check the combustion chambers to make sure they're equal in size. If one of them is a little smaller, you could have detonation in that cylinder, or the compression could be down on all the others. The first thing I want to do is to see how far the valves have been recessed into the head by the machine shop, and I'm going to use a profile gauge to do that. I've made a line across here so I can line this gauge up, so I'm checking at exactly the same point all the way along. I'm just going to push this down like that. Come in here and push these down. Just make sure it's all lined up in there. Okay. Now, I'm going to switch this around because our intake valves are opposite on this next combustion chamber over. I'll push this down and line it up. Okay. Great. That's perfect. Do the same down here. I'm going to push this down, line it up, that's good too. And then finally down here, do the same thing, line it up on our hole and on our line. Perfect. They're all the same depth. Okay, we know that's done, but the final thing we have to do, and the most accurate check of a combustion chamber's volume, is to CC it. I'll show you how that's done. As you can see, we've leveled this exactly here. I'll just take those away. Now the next step is to put a thin film of grease around here. This can be done at a machine shop with a, a, a lot of complicated apparatus, but I'm going to show you a simple way to do it. Put the grease all the way around so we get a nice seal. Not too much though. Okay. Now we're going to take this piece of clear plastic with a hole drilled in the center and press it onto the grease to make a nice seal. Okay. Now I'm going to just draw up four cc's of water with a little bit of dish detergent in it. As you can see this is marked off in milliliters which are the same as cc's. I'll draw up exactly four cc's and put it in the hole here then I'll note that down and I'll keep doing that until I fill the combustion chamber. It should be should come to pretty much exactly 72 cc's when I'm all finished here. Okay. Okay, now we're just going to keep doing this until we have our uh, combustion chamber filled. Take, okay. Okay, that's just took one cc. Okay. Now that's exactly 72 cc's, and that's what these should each be in this, com uh, in this particular head. If they're over or under by 2 cc's, as we said before, then you might want to juggle the valves around and see if you can uh, uh, change it slightly and get, get it more in balance, because over 2 cc's is a problem. If you can't, then you might have to very carefully remove a little more in one or two combustion chambers to get it right. This is Jim Richardson for Classic Car Garage saying good luck with your restoration.